Today I'm making tres leches cake. Now if you would like an easier version of this recipe using store-bought cake mix, I will link the recipe video below. But today I am going to do a tres leches cake from scratch. It's very simple and if you double the recipe, it'll give you a 9 by 13 baking dish of tres leches. But today I'm doing a smaller portion for my family. To start, I'm gonna go over the ingredients for the cake part of this recipe. Here I have a half cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of fine salt. I'm also using one teaspoon of baking powder. Here I have a half cup of sugar, three tablespoons of whole milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three large eggs, and I will be separating the yolks from the whites. Before I start to create the batter, I am going to reserve one tablespoon of my sugar and set that aside. I'll be adding that to the chilled egg whites later. In the meantime, here I have the rest of my sugar in a large bowl. To that, I'm going to add my three egg yolks and I'm going to cream and combine this together. Now that my egg yolks and sugar are creamed together, I'm going to add the rest of my wet ingredients. Here I have my whole milk my one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to continue whisking and I'm going to combine well. Now I'm going to sift my dry ingredients into the bowl. I'm going to add my flour, my quarter teaspoon of salt, and my teaspoon of baking powder. I'm just going to shake it into the bowl and combine well. And during this process, try not to overmix. So I've had my egg whites chilling in the refrigerator. Now it's time to whip and beat them till stiff peaks. I'm going to give it a head start and then I'm going to add that tablespoon of reserved sugar into the bowl and I'm going to continue whisking. Now you could use your electric hand mixer for this or a stand mixer, but I just figured I'd just use my hand whisk. If you find yourself whisking and it comes to this point, you'll notice my peaks are not quite stiff. They kind of flop over. This is the soft peak stage. Keep going. You wanna make sure you reach stiff peaks with this. So I'm gonna continue whisking and beating my egg whites for another minute or so until they look like this. You could see how this, the peaks stand straight. That's exactly how you want your egg whites. Now I'm going to fold them into my batter. Okay, so my batter is combined and ready for my baking dish. Here I have an eight by eight square baking dish that I added cooking spray to. You can butter it, and now I'm just going to add my cake batter. You could also use a round baking pan for this. So I'm gonna smooth the top, and I will be baking this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean from the center. Now it's time to work on my three milks mixture, or the tres leches. Here I have half a can of sweetened condensed milk, half a can of evaporated milk, and I have a third cup of whole milk. I'm, you can just combine these in a bowl and add a dash of ground cinnamon, and that's it. But I like to steep this with a little bit of orange peel and one cinnamon stick. This is optional, but it does add great flavor. I've added all of my milks into a small pot. I'm going to add the cinnamon and orange peel, and I'm going to bring this up to a gentle simmer. Once it simmers, shut off the heat, cover with a lid, and let it steep until it is cool. So now that my cake is done, I have it setting here on my stove, and I'm going to let it cool completely. Once my cake is cooled, I'm going to take two skewers and start poking holes all through the cake. You could also use a fork for this. 
And once I'm finished poking holes through the cake, I'm going to pour over my milk mixture. Once my cake is completely saturated, I'm going to cover it with cling film and set in the refrigerator to soak for about two to four hours. Now I'm going to work on my whipped cream topping. I'm going to add half a pint of heavy whipping cream to a non-greasy bowl. Remember, if this is a greasy plastic bowl, it'll be harder to whip up the heavy cream. So I'm going to start whipping it with my whisk. You could use a hand mixer for this. And once it starts to foam and get fluffy, I'll add one and a half tablespoons of confectioner sugar, or you may call this powdered sugar, and continue whisking until soft peaks form. Try not to over whisk this because it'll definitely change the texture of this. So this is exactly how I want my whipped topping. So now it's time to put the cake together. And I did not have fresh fruit today, but I did find a jar of maraschino cherries. So here we go. Now depending how large you cut your slices, you can get somewhere between six to nine servings out of this cake. Or this is just one large portion for one person. It's really up to you. I'm going to take a bite. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.